Hello everybody and welcome to No Game No Life Zero Zero I don't know if you can really say it to zero with my hand. Anime review. Um anime movie review, I should be more specific. Uh yeah, I very much enjoyed it. I gonna give a little warning, I'm probably gonna talk spoilers. I don't have a usually when I do a movie review I leave it to the end. I don't really have a plan this time, so if you've not seen it and you're interested, I'm just going to say go see it. You will enjoy it, probably. Uh, otherwise, yeah, welcome. Uh, I, man, I should have a better plan. It's fine. So, it's good, right? That's my overarching thing. It's good, but it's not good in the same way as the series of No Game, No Life. Like, they're like completely different like dynamics. Well, not completely different. Like the scheming and everything is and like the behind the scenes stuff is really cool and it's similar to, you know, Sora and Shiro in regular series. But it's like it feels like the stakes are a lot bigger. And uh man, I uh I'm gonna say I liked the I liked Riku and I liked Shuvi. Everybody else was kind of negligible, but them too. And uh, oh, and someone losing their worst girl status or best girl status to becoming a worst girl will get there. If you've seen the movie, you know. You know. I don't blame her. Well, I do. I shouldn't, but I do. Damn it! Why? But we'll we'll get there. So yeah, if you didn't know, which if you got this far and you didn't know, you know, it's a mega prequel. It's during the whole whole the whole war and stuff. So there's actual like fighting and stuff, which obviously in Rather series they can't do because ten uh, rules and all that. I, I swear I know that my law. I swear I've read the light novels and everything. <laughs> I swear. But uh, yeah, it's all about the war. Like I said, Riku is our main character, and he's basically Sora, but not. And then we got Shuvi, who is basically Shiro, but not. I don't know if they're like reincarnations or what, I don't think they are. I think it's just the way that Tet was telling the story is what I was reading, to make it easier for is not to understand. I don't know if that's true though, or if that's just like a, a fan theory. But that's what the internet told me. But uh yeah, I like there's an there's a moment right at the beginning where it's an explosion. I was like, damn that's a good explosion. My phone's going off. That's weird. Anyway, back to the review. Um the new I forgot. The movie made me forget that the, it wasn't going to go well for Riku and Shuvi and the new characters because it's a prequel. I mean, I guess some mega prequels so it could have gone well. It doesn't go well. I've said spoiler warning at the beginning, so if you blame now. So uh, Shuvi is killed by Jibril, and uh, like, I get why it was Jibril. I understand, but it, it couldn't have made me, it could have been someone else that I could like feel right hating them. And now, if they if they ever make a season two, which let's be real, I, I want it to happen. It's not gonna happen. But uh, Jabril, I just I can't look at her the same way and be like, I hate you for what you did to poor Riku and Shuvi. They just wanted to be together. Damn it! I also like that. I like their like little romance thing. I know some people are gonna be like, no, it's bad because she looks like a child. But she might not have actually looked like a child, depending on which theory you believe. I don't care either way because I thought it was done well. She's also a robot, so that's yeah. I I just liked it. It was like, oh man, got me to tear up. I'm not gonna lie, it got me. I'm a I'm an emotional dude. Got me, got me right in the feels. Hit me right there. Hit me right in the feels. I was like, damn it, you got me. I think I preferred it to the series, but like I said, they're like completely different experiences. Yeah, let's go with that. Keep clip oh, can't speak English. Completely different experiences. There was an obnoxious fan service, which uh, fan service isn't something that bothers me in general, but no game no life it seems not it seemed kind of in place, kind of out of place, if that makes sense. Which it probably doesn't because it's a the yeah, I just it doesn't matter. I very much enjoyed myself. Man. I'm just gutted. Like there's a point when I realised that Riku and Shuvi were probably both not going to survive properly. But, uh, yeah, it was it was a very enjoyable ride. I mean, like I said, those two are the main characters. If you don't really care about them, your experience might not be as good as mine was. Because I really liked them. I thought they were cool. But, uh, 
yeah, once they went into like behind the scenes planning mode, like manipulating everything from behind the scenes, that was really cool. That was like how I, that, like it was cool to see how the humans basically won the war, even though, you know, they technically didn't, but they basically did. It was, it was interesting and it was good and I loved it. I'm very, I'm very positive. I can't think of any negatives other than Jabril. And, you know, some other characters didn't really do much. There was not Stephanie, whose name I've forgotten, but, she, you know, she's the, the uh, descendant, not the descendant, the ancestor, got it the wrong way around. Like, she was, she was a thick, like, right at the beginning, man, when they had the little girl as well, when, who was, like, where's my daddy? I was like, oh, no, you're hitting me already. Why are you doing this? But, yeah, yeah, I haven't read this light novel because I wanted to watch the movie, so... Maybe there's more in the light novel, but like this, I felt the movie was great. I saw like, I've seen like low reviews as well. I saw a review, like low, people giving it low reviews. I was like, I thought it was great. Like, I'm not as hard, to, I'm pretty easy to please, but I thought it was pretty darn good. Everything made sense. Yeah, good movie, good movie. Well, that's been my very, I think it's been quite brief, review of No Game No Life Zero. Let me know what you guys thought about and stuff. Oh, the theme song's good as well. Uh, and let me know how much you want a season two, because I know we all do. And I will see you in whatever video you watch next. Subscribe and stuff for more good reviews and other good stuff. And I will see you then. See ya.